Teresa uh, Young here. We're at the Gilbert Farmer's Market. I'm trying to walk in that trip, Teresa. So you can <laughs> I got you. Kind of um, so we're here. It's, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. I don't know if you folks have been to the Farmer's Market out here in Gilbert, but there's so many people out here, young families, uh, people walking their dogs, uh, a lot of food, a lot of, a lot of things to buy. It's just a great experience and great, great uh Way to spend your Saturday or, or Sunday. Now, now they have this farmers market going year round, Saturdays and Sundays. In the summer, when it's hot, seven a.m. to eleven p.m. And then the rest of the season, that stays open a little bit later when it's not so hot. But so, year round, year round. So if you haven't been out here, absolutely, this is a place to come. Now we're not here to talk about the farmers market specifically. What I want to talk about is virtual real estate agents. Now. You've seen a lot of commercials in, uh, on TV, and you've heard a lot of commercials on the radio. Um, they're popping up all over the place. So, Teresa, as, as far as your experience, why is it better to, to talk to somebody like you and have you as a real estate agent as opposed to those virtual real estate agents? Okay, so you've probably heard of 72 sold, 72 sold. That's a big one out here. Basically, what they'll do is they'll uh, put your house on the market for a week, and uh, you're supposed to get a huge, you know, offer over ask, and it's sold within 72 hours, and you're done. That's, that's it. Sounds really great. So what they do is there's just a one-page listing contract for the seller, and you put your the house on the market just like we would on the MLS for 72 hours. What they do is they only will show it one time at certain hours between on this day between this hour and this hour. So it drives a ton of traffic into the house. It's all marketing, right? It's, it's, it is really brilliant, but that's what we do. That's what we do already right. and can do. You don't have to put a sign out in front of your house. You don't have to have you know, open houses all the time, but you have that one showing and it drives a ton of traffic and buyers feel like they're in a frenzy because they're there with 22, 30 other people and it, it creates that frenzy, right? Oh, we need to, we need to get these, this, you know, an offer in now. And that's marketing, and that's what we're skilled to do. That's what we do. Now, the difference is, is that our listing contract protects the seller, okay? So when they're listing with that company, they don't have all the protections right. that we would have for them. We can do all of those things that they do. In fact, that's what we, that's what we do for you marketing your home. Getting it online and having it come soon to create that frenzy before it goes on Zillow or realtor.com or Trulia. So all the agents that have the buyers, they're seeing it before anybody else does online. So that's going to drive the price up. That's going to get it sold fast. But you're going to have more protection selling, listing it with a realtor such as myself because our listing contract is multiple pages. And it's designed to protect the seller, right. to protect you in case certain things happen, to protect you you know, in, in the event of, um, you know, arbitration, some, you know, we have that built into the contract. So you have a lot more protection on your part. Same, you know, they, as far as cost, there's not really much a difference. Now I've heard some buyers who are really frustrated with that process because they maybe can't go to look at the home at that certain time that they want to. They, because maybe their work schedule or whatever um have, have you found that some of your buyers get uh, or, or, or people who are using those um that they're frustrated as well yeah they're, the seller that uses those they're missing out on a lot of qualified buyers they are and when i look at the data and i'm looking at homes in a neighborhood and i and i can see houses that were sold you know between one and three days on the market if i look a little bit further I can still see that if a house is sitting two weeks on the market, you're still getting above ask. You're still getting, it's still closing right. at asking price. It was just two weeks instead of 72 hours. But right. you've protected yourself so much more and you've exposed yourself online to more buyers for stronger offers. Right. And that way you don't feel like, did I take the best one? That was really fast. You might have a little remorse in that area. So if you have a little bit of more time to be a little bit more patient, two weeks, Right. It's still like crazy fast for a house to sell. Two weeks. That's, that, yep, yep. that's, that's nothing. Um, Open Door, uh, Redfin, the, the, big, the big companies, they're operating on a profit margin. They're backed by Wall Street. 
so they don't have the, con the care and consideration that a person, you know, like us would. You know, it's a very intimate purchase buying a home. It's a home. And they are operating on a profit margin. So there's going to be fees that come involved. You're going, you could be, it could be costing you more to sell with a company like that. In, in fact, I've heard that as well. Uh, buyers fees. getting, well, that, yeah. and buyers getting frustrated that they can't reach a realtor yes. on a weekend. And a lot of times that's the only time they can go look at a home is on a weekend. And these um, virtual real estate agents, a lot of times it's really hard to connect with them. Yeah, I mean, why do we like to go to the grocery store and have our groceries rung up by somebody? Because it's it's personal, you know? Even in other markets, we're saying we still want personal connection. It's very valuable. And and, 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 and so, as a, um, so do you make yourself available on weekends? I mean, how are people able to con contact you? I mean, is it just as easy as texting you or so what i do is i have a schedule and i have you know a business a running business and i have a family and so what i do is i make myself available um certain mornings lunchtime and certain evenings too and weekends and certain saturdays and sundays different times so that i can accommodate a wide variety of schedules as far as flexibility who, uh, Who's more flexible? Are you more flexible? Absolutely, we are because we're the first line. We're ne we're we're negotiating from start to finish, right? We're it's not assembly line where every part of the transaction is going to a different department and there's multiple hands trying to get this you know deal done. I'm there start to finish. That makes a huge difference. So if anything happens, I'm the front line that can solve the problems. Right. I'm a pro we solve problems, you know, because issues will come up. Things do happen in the middle of a transaction, but it's identifying it and being able to be there right away and knowing who to contact to fix the problem. Right, and and I've had that experience too as a lender uh, from from the lender's perspective, where my buyer has been so frustrated because they're trying to reach the seller's agent, and it's and it's just tough. Yeah, when you work with a realtor, those two realtors that are on the buying side and the selling side, we're looking at it as a team. We're working together as a team. We're both representing individual parties and their interests and, and having that agency, but we are, we are mutually invested in problem solving and getting the deal done to the likeness of both parties. Now, so so mainly if you're working with somebody who's listing a listing property, you're, you're really vested in their life a lot more. Um, that personal relationship, um, they feel like they can contact you anytime. Exactly, exactly. It's I have a personal connection with my sellers. I know why they need to sell, why they want to sell, what their situation is, what the pain is. Everybody has some part of pain. Something's going on. Right now, people are moving, people are relocating, and there's, there's very painful situations going on. You know, people realized over COVID, you know, sometimes they don't even like the person they live with. There's major life changes that are happening. Yeah. And to work with a realtor such as myself, who is in the business of building relationships, I'm going to be able to identify what your pain is. Right. And if I can identify what your pain is, then I know how to provide solutions for you. Right. You know, a big companies that are operating on profit margins, they just don't have that personal care and consideration that understands the pain of the person on the other side. And if you don't understand what's going on in that person's life, yep. how are you going to know how to help them or what solutions to offer them or to provide for them? Right. Well, that's, that's great information that you've given us. If somebody wants to contact you, what's the best way for them to get tested? To Call me, 480-678-9207. Phone number's right, right there. I have text me, too. If you're not big talker, I text. I'm I'm a millennial, but I identify more as Gen X. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so if, if you want some more information, if you haven't um, bought a home and you want somebody that can walk you through step-by-step -step patiently, Teresa is absolutely the best. And if you'd like any more information on maybe the city city of Gilbert, if you'd like the Gilbert Relocation Guide, all you need to do is go toward uh, the description section of this video, click on the link, put in your information, and then uh, we can get you that relocation guide, or I can connect you with Teresa as well. So, Teresa, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. What do you say we get some fry bread or something? Oh, okay? I can't wait. I've been looking. <laughs> okay. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.